Afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. At 10 a.m. local time, there was a explosion of a transformer at the Hoover Dam. Uh, this is just outside of Las Vegas. The transformer exploded with a loud boom, according to tourists there at the location, with a large plume of black smoke which evidently was quickly put out about 30 minutes later by uh, the fire personnel that worked there at the dam. The cause of the fire is currently under investigation. One of the tourists who filmed the explosion also caught an image of the water behind the dam. You can see by the white line how low it is. Not quite as low as what I expected, even though this image is blurry. This is an image of the transformer. It was on the outlet side of Hoover Dam where the water flows out. Here's another image of what it looked like before the fire. That's probably going to be an expensive fix. Seeing how transformers, I don't know about this one, but most of them are not made here. Uh, they're made in China. Another thing that they are not talking about, but I noticed yesterday that all the earthquake monitors, all the public earthquake monitors, there at the dam southwest of Las Vegas. Here we have Henderson. Let me zoom into this area. Not a single one of these monitors is working. None of them are working. Very concerning seeing how, uh, yeah, you want to monitor the earthquakes that might happen there and damage the dam and collapse it and cause a great, great catastrophe. Not only for the people downstream from the river, but the loss of power and how it would affect all the people in the city of Las Vegas and all the other locations um, that depend on that power. As you know, I do a lot of research and I ran each one of these monitors and not a single one is up and running. I guess I figure they, uh, oh, that one's not working. That tab's not working. I guess they figure that they got enough monitors outside the area. Let's pull this out and I'll show you. Um, there was even a problem because I was looking into some earthquakes. Uh, there was a magnitude 1.2 uh, west of Las Vegas. And I was trying to find a monitor that would be working in that location. Uh, there's uh, a monitor at Red Rock Canyon that was not working. Uh, many of them that I have listed here, uh, the data wouldn't come in. Yeah, um, yeah, I finally just gave up after a couple hours. I spent too much time trying to get data about this 1.2 earthquake and that's how I found out that the monitors for Hoover Dam are not working. Here we have another image of the outlet side of the dam and we'll zoom in. It was on the opposite side where over here on the right where the fire broke out. I'm not sure on the date on this photo. Here's another image of Lake Mead. I believe this was fairly recent, but if you notice this little dome here, this mountainous little spot where the lake used to be, this image here I believe was from 2011. You can see how much it's really dropped. As you know, our infrastructures for many things, bridges and roads have not been kept up. Yeah, they're all failing because of the extreme heat. Our crops are failing uh, for some reason. Um, Pacific Railroad has asked certain companies to um, decrease the shipping by rail of goods by 30 to 50 percent. I don't know if that's got anything to do with the infrastructure of the railroads. But this could be a very serious situation. It could have been. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared for a disaster. 
Uh, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.